Well, guys, it's that time again. Time to go out on a, an adventure. We're going to go over to Snoqualmie Pass, that place that uh, we went to. I showed you a few months ago, but the water was still real high. But we checked it out a couple weeks ago, and the water has receded some. So what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to check it out and see how far out there in the, in the dry lake bed that we can get. So, wish us luck. We'll get back to you. All right. Well, here we are, guys. Up here, Snoqualmie Pass. As you can see, the water has receded quite a bit. There is water out there. But all this around here... A few months ago was all underwater and there's quite a few guys out here camping see uh, old class A way over there you probably can't see it's a, a ambulance a little airstream rocks in my feet I got the glamper van still kind of fixing it up and I see there's two shuttle buses over here that people have uh, Get up. There's one there, and there's one over here. Maybe later on, we'll take a closer look at them. But you know, I was thinking about that before I bought the van. I was going to get a shuttle bus, but I couldn't find a decent one that had a decent engine in it. So that's why we got the, the glamper van for now. But maybe someday, build one of those out. Here we go, eating good in the neighborhood. Some, uh, let's see, we got some calamari steaks, french fries, and salad. This is how we do it, even though we're out here at the lake. I'm not sure what this lake is, but uh, up here, Snoqualmie Pass. As you can see, a few months ago, this was all underwater, but now it's time to uh, camp. And, it doesn't cost anything to camp here. I don't know what the time limit is, but we're gonna be out here for a couple days. It's, if you look in the background where I'm kind of be, between those two hillsides over there, it looks kind of blurry, that smoke. The, there are some fires up here in the Pacific Northwest, and that's what that is. But it doesn't seem to be, I really can't smell the smoke, but you never know. Oh, you can't see it, but the sky is looking kind of orange. Like I said, we're having, like every other state on the West Coast, we're having wildfires. And uh, uh, look how smoky it is over there. But man, it's, it's nice and comfortable. Look at that, got a schoolie over there. But tomorrow, when it gets a little nice, I'm gonna see if I can get that moon shot in there. You can barely see it. You know, I'm using my phone, so it's not really, really bright. But, you know, as we've noticed, a lot of homemades, there's that schoolie down there, and this guy's got a horse trailer that also has a uh, camping area on it. I'm kind of curious about this guy over here. He has a an old shuttle bus, but I haven't seen any activity over there. Mm. I see some people there in the way in the back. Maybe they're part of that. Then I go over here. I see that Chevy Express, and then I see another shuttle bus over here. I probably need to go out here and talk to these people. You know, get a little more content and check out their their rigs. Okay, and then, like I said, over here quite a big group over there they have uh, a pull behind and a couple of them and over here quite a few tents but yeah there's I mean any place you decide to put your tent or your rig that's your camping area when we first came out here a few years ago, see where that uh, truck is at? That's where we, we were camped at. And then last year, where this guy is at is where we were, were camped. Um, 
we hadn't had we didn't have the camper van or the glamper van but we had the uh, the Jeep and we set the Jeep up to where we can camp inside and had our tent out but uh, it's getting dark I don't know it's about 730 and I will get back to you probably in the morning all right bye hey guys it's Chuck gonna give you a look see around the uh, the campsite here I got everything pretty much set up it's the uh, next day sorry it took so long but uh, just been uh, chilling out had some neighbors come by kind of close but what can you do anyway here's the setup now I know it's getting kind of late out here but here's the uh, cook area Got the stove, got the chairs, that's fly paper. I got a few flies out here, insects. There's the cooking area. Of course, there's the glamper van, adventures van, all opened up. Got our seats out there. It's my new drone, been learning to fly that. Only crashed it a few times. Okay, now here is the shower system that I have talked about. As I told you, I got the big bucket here, or big uh, container, because this is the pump is quite large on this. Okay, and then here is here is the shower. Got it all hooked up and ready to go. Like I said, right now I'm just using the one-pound uh, propane tanks, but I do have a uh, like a two-gallon tank and the adapter. So when I want to, don't want to use these. Okay, like I said, got everything all all hooked up. Now another. Another tip I was gonna give you, when you buy a tent or anything like this, this is what they give you. You know about these tent stakes. You see that one's bent. Tell you what, put those aside, go get you some spikes. This is about, oh, about a six inch spike, and this is what I use for everything. Got my canopy. Uh, stake down then I also put a few guy wires on there because it's a little bit of wind out here Okay, so just to make sure it doesn't go down and then of course on my shower unit I got nails in there because those other ones just ain't that good, but yeah, this is a It's been a busy day. There's a lot of people out here a lot of these people what they're out here. They have those little uh, remote controlled uh, cars and they've been racing them around up here should have filmed that this one guy had I mean these things are fast too he had a couple out here and the dogs were chasing them. me like I said I've been practicing on my drone I got a, a little newer one and when I get really good at it I'll uh, do some where I'm doing videos aerial shots and all that I I had I had a somewhat decent camera on my other one but like I say, it started messing up. There was a guy out here that was flying a drone. This guy was good. I mean, he was way over here from way over here. I mean, he went over the, the dry lake bed over there, just all over the place. A lot better pilot, but you know, practice makes perfect. Okay, now we got, we got some people on some, uh, some ATVs. And like I said, there's a little bit of a gully there where that, uh, SUV is coming out where people go down there to get way out there on the other side me I'm comfortable being up here even though these people got kind of close you know you want the cold you got to kind of keep your distance even outside but you know it's all free it's dispersed camping I mean there's no it's really designated it's just you come out here you find a spot and throw it out there and that's what we did here like I said we've been here before I was out here with the Jeep last year a couple times and uh, now we got the we got the glamper van all out here okay so it's kind of a short video but if you enjoy it go ahead and give me a thumbs up give me a like and as I've said before let me know what kind of camping you're into if you into tent camping uh, a van and uh, what kind of camping if you uh, you know if it's tent camping van camping if you're going to do a van build you know class a uh, pull behind trailer uh, whatever you got let me know what what you what kind of camping you do you know I kind of like to know what kind of audience I got you know so I can kind of maybe tailor this more 
to what people want to see. But this is what I'm doing. Let me know what you're doing. All right, this is Chuck, Glamper Band Adventures. I'll talk to you later. Bye.